I'll show you some of the stuff you need to make one. Uh, this is called Romex. Go around, and if you know an electrician, if you are anywhere near a construction site, uh, I work in construction at the moment, so I have access to a lot of this stuff. Uh, when you strip this down, this is what you come out with. Perfect wire for uh, making your surf weights, or uh, legs on your surf weights. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. This is basically the wiring that goes through your house. Uh, you're going to need some scrap lead. This is some of the pieces I have left over, but I've also got some lead bars of uh, from stuff that I've given that I melted down to make it clean. This, this has got a lot of lead still sit, sitting inside there that I've melted before. Didn't need it all, so it's still sitting there. Uh, I'm just going to probably use what's in here. You need a mold. This is my mold. I kind of showed you on the other video that uh, drill the hole, put four nails to the bottom of it. Once I put the lead in here, tap those down. I'm going to make an eye out of one of these. Let's see here. It's pretty simple. A pair of pliers and a screwdriver. I ought to be using vice grips, so it's not so hard to hold on to, but this will do it. And if you get it a little tighter, usually when you start start to wind it up, it looks a little crooked, but once you get a little tighter on it, uh, it tends to work uh, a little better. laying on the bottom because then when you flip your weight over you'll see it sticking out of here so you want to kind of have it uh, elevated elevated just a just a little bit but I'll get to that in just a moment uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, melt some lead I'm not going to do that on this table Thing you don't ever want to do is uh, <clears throat> don't ever touch anything with your hands. I shouldn't be wearing gloves right now. I shouldn't be sitting at a table. I'm usually I usually do this down here on my bench. But uh, just for video purposes, I'm I'm being extra careful so I don't hurt myself or damage it. I don't know if you can see that the, the lid's melted. Not completely. Make sure I have enough melted to pour down into that mold.
Read it, I'm bumping at it so that it'll, it'll kind of wiggle around. It kind of makes it not be so tight on those uh, nails. Now remember what I said, don't touch anything with your hands. I've got a pair of cutters here. I have, normally I'd use a hammer, but I'm just tapping these down with a... I mean, they go down pretty easy. I said, don't touch anything. These things are pretty hot. I'm going to set them down on my tablecloth. This, this is actually my apron for when I'm uh, filleting fish and stuff. So you can see what I'm doing here. Taking the hot nails out. transferring onto the wire. I mean, you don't normally do it right now. I mean, you make the weights, and usually I'll have a little bucket of water near me. I'm sure you can hear water running in the background. That's my pond. But, uh, just for the video's sake, I'm going ahead and putting it in. There's really nothing to this. I mean, if you go buy a spider weight that's this 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 heavy, this is probably a six or eight ounce uh, spider weight. You're looking at about three four dollars at least at uh, one of those uh, tackle stores. But I mean, there's your really nothing to it. I make mine with long legs. They just tend to uh, work better for me. <coughs> just down here, I'm just going to tap it on the ground. There you go. Homemade spider weight. This is the way I set mine up. Obviously, you saw my other one there. This is my old one. I've been using that one for about four or five years. Uh, this is the one you just saw me make. That's all there is to it. Make your own homemade spider weights. Thank you, and if you have any comments or questions, please contact Manual Z, Manual Z at netzero.net, or you can just do a search on the internet for Manual Z and fishing, and you'll find my website. The easiest way to find it would be surfishing.tripod.com, which will forward you to my full website.